hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel civil learning online and today in this video i will be discussing about gauss forward difference formula previously i have made two more video about the newton's forward and backward difference formula you can check it out in the link in the description and here this is the table which we are going to follow for gauss forward difference formula this p represents the term position minus 2 minus 2 means this p is minus 2 then all the terms all the member of this row will be x minus 2 y minus 2 delta y minus 2 like that and uh, here in forward difference we are uh, also calculating the, uh, the forward difference likewise we have done in newton's method and i i am going to make this more clear through a new example and uh, here while writing the term this is delta y minus 2 which is actually the difference between this y minus 1 and y minus 2 like uh, here y minus 1 minus y minus 2 is gives us delta y minus 2 similarly delta y minus 1 is given by y naught minus y minus 1 this is the representation of the position of the member and this is the difference like this uh, forward difference is similar to the difference we have which we have done in newton's forward difference now let's move toward the gauss forward difference formula now watch this carefully here we are finding gauss forward difference formula means we need to move forward forward okay then see here here there is a special case which is, which is being followed in gauss forward difference formula like we need we are moving forward and we have selected this as x node it is not given we need to take assumption as x node if i have taken this x node as a initial a starting phase then i need to move forward for forward difference so we need to move like this diagonally y naught and then uh, this is in the middle so we need to move here and then again downward and again here see here when we move downward from upward num term will be same this is y naught this is also y naught now when we move upward our term will change now 0 will become minus 1 and again while uh, from upward we again move down we are again moving downward then again while moving downward our term will remain same then this is also minus 1 this will also get minus 1 again if we are moving upward means minus will will 1 will get converted into minus 2 i hope you have understood if not it will be more clear from the numerical now let's move to the formula here gauss forward difference formula is given as y is equal to y naught means we are starting from here and forward or uh, then it is similar to that newton's plus and uh, p times delta again forward we are moving downward y naught so delta y naught now after moving downward we again move for upward so this will be delta p and forward we take negative sign so p times p minus 1 by 2 factorial times now again we need to multiply this after moving downward we again move upward so this will get delta square y minus 1 now again it will, we will move then p plus p times p minus 1 and in newtons what we need to use to do p times p minus 1 then we need to multiply this by p minus 2 but here in gauss what we need to do is after uh, multiplying with with p minus 1 we will again take p plus 1 by 3 factorial times delta q y minus 1 now again we need to move upward then this minus will get converted into minus 2 and the formula will become p times p minus 1 p plus 1 and after p minus 1 we need to have p minus 2 so p minus 2 by 4 factorial times delta 4 y minus 2 i hope you have understood the formula now let's move toward the numerical and from numerical it will be more clear and i hope all i would be 
I will point out all your doubts. Now here I have selected a numerical in which we are asked to find the value of u9 and we are given the value of u0, u4, u8, u12 and these terms represent base term represents uh, x and uh, the value is y which are y value are 14, 24, 32, 35 respectively. So let us draw the table. Uh, we need to first find the difference and then we will use this formula for finding the value of u9 which will be the application of our Gauss forward difference formula. Now I have copied the value of x and ux. Now let's find our first requirement that is our delta u. This is forward table so it is noted by delta and u. Now uh, do y2 minus y1 then 24 minus 14 will be equal to 10 write it in the middle of this two term which will be our 10 again subtract 32 minus 24 it will be equal to 8 write it in the middle again minus uh, subtract 35 minus 42 35 minus 42 is equal to 3 write it in the middle again 40 minus 35 will be equal to 5 write it in the middle now again for delta square u subtract 8 minus 10 will be equal to minus 2 3 minus 8 will be equal to minus 5 and 5 minus 3 will be equal to 2 similarly delta q u will be equal to minus 5 plus 2 will be equal to minus 3 2 plus 5 will be equal to 7 similarly delta 4 u will be equal to 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 this is actually 7 minus minus 3 so it is plus 10 now uh, time for p for p let us see what we need to find we have to uh, we are asked to find u 9 and 9 lies between 8 and 12 so you can proceed either by taking this 12 as 0 or at 8 as 0 suppose I take this 8 as 0 then write this as minus 1 again this 0 as minus 2 this 12 will become 1 and this 16 will become 2 now this is our x note so this is forward difference formula mark the arrow then this is forward again forward again backward now we have marked it now let's use the formula and here from formula let's see what we have got here this is y note so this 32 is going to be y note because this is corresponding to 0 and delta y note this is our delta y note 3 again delta square y minus 1 delta square y minus 1 delta q y minus 1 delta q y minus 1 delta 4 y minus 2 this is our delta 4 y minus 2 and uh, from formula we are we haven't find p yet so let's find p for, for finding p we are given a formula p is equal to x minus x naught by h so we are finding 9 so 9 minus and x naught is 8 so 9 minus 8 by our height height means the difference in x term and this is difference of 4 so this is 1 by 4 means 0 0.25 now let's use it in the formula here i have written everything from this table and uh, what we have got the value of p as per the formula and uh, after solving this you will get y equals to 33.1162 which is going to be our final final answer and the value of u9 and uh, you as i told you that u9 lies between 8 and 12 so you can see that our answer is also between 32 and 35 and this is what interpolation means this 32 and 35 acts our as our range and uh, we have got the value which is lies between which is between the 32 and 35 33 means our answer is correct and uh, thanks for watching this video i hope it was helpful to all of you guys do like and share
and do subscribe to my channel if you want more updates related to civil engineering. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.